and the game begins. No, no, there is, because if you have the lands in mind control, um, I'm a green arrow to punch fast punches. Uh, TK? He, yeah. Wait, uh, how does chosen work? with uh, uh, Lockjaw to bring Mjolnir. Fire. I don't know if you fire target. Yeah. Fire. Yeah. Throw a lance fire on the ground, I'm pretty sure. I'm double trying to go. Oh, that was <laughs> Mike. <laughs> Tom's making yeah. elaborate charts in his head right now. Dude, he's going to come spying. Which is his take. So, I don't know. This is going to be interesting. And even if he traded for the group, but if he's on five, so he wins. Like, I think if I were Tom, my. Oh, yeah, like, I'm a little louder. Talk a little louder. Like, if I were Tom, to some... since I lost math, I would be taking Joker all the way out. Like, that's just what you have to do. You have to go commit with Joker and make him kill the Colossus. Mm-hmm. Make Joker kill the Colossus. Yeah. Because then you don't have to interact with the rest of his team. Because Joker's not going to die out there. Right. I mean, if you lose two tokens, that's a fair trade. That's a good trade for you. Sure. Like, then you're tied at least. Uh, like, no, 22. You know, like, 20? I mean, you can just go up there and, like, RCE group. You have nothing but time with them. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, you can just roll onto RCE and just wait. Like, you don't have to be impatient. I mean, if you miss and you get recal, that's probably bad. You get a walking loop, but... Well, no, but once yeah, you're moving on his side, I'm pretty sure he keeps his own walking loop on his side. Yeah. Like, and you're on wide No, right. he's already starting to keep him up the left side. Yeah. Wow. Sending star fights up the middle and walking woods up the side. Mm-hmm. I don't like that he has the star fights together. This is also a, a matchup Dan hasn't tested. In his... Many, 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 many hours of testing. Yeah, this is not testing. one of the matches. He right. He tested against the, like, like my version of Gotham City Underworld, mm-hmm. but not him. Yeah. Well, um, and then this isn't Gotham City Underworld. This is just Gotham City. Yeah, yeah that's oh, what I'm saying. Okay. Like, okay, it's still yeah. a penguin engine. Sure, okay. So, I like where Tom has the arrow position. It's a good spot. Yeah. I mean, uh, well, why is that? Because he he, it's going to be really hard to get him right controlled there. Like okay. he should realistically like sidestep him back one. Mm, okay. But because you don't want you don't want Green Arrow to just have, get zapped or zap somebody. Yeah. That's just for points. No, Brad, it's PJ again. Yeah, joining the booth with uh, by PJ Bolin and does, Adam does Freeman Arrow sort of uh, floating satellite right now. Green Arrow has uh, to make a range attack. Flexing up defense on the right. penguin. So Robo does that mean Robo Penguin? Yeah. Control Green Arrow can use it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a rider. Okay. And yep, Tom's starting to um, make, fog. Open, make fogs and like uh, he's starting to open up blocking for lanes, right? He's got a yeah. He has. He's, he's going to create a, a diagonal that's going to cut across from uh, basically from where uh, back is shooting straight up through to the side of the top side of the map. Yeah, that's that's a good path. Yeah, like he's probably setting up for Cyclops to running shots over here yeah. or up toward like what uh. Let's see. Like thirteen, like uh, what P thirteen, like in that general area, because you get a direct sure. line. Yeah. Uh oh, right, 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 because uh, the headmaster ignores blocking, mm-hmm. right, destroys blocking. One square. Right. Yeah. So like if Joker, oh, he might just go like, get the line of fire from like right there. Like call him in oh. there. Like that, yeah, that's like he can damn near immediately bring that out. Yeah. So he sees that he has to get Joker up front, and right, because Joker's the most resilient threat. Do is move action that first walking wood to occupy that area up there. It's right there. Just yeah. Up, that well, so probably is that like right block, where is that right where his hands block, are right now. It's where blocking right yes. there. Okay. Yes. Okay. So yeah, all of these all of these uh, orange torches are also blocking. Right. And all of yeah, the walls. Yeah. So the, the three by three behind the torch. He just mm-hmm. occupies the middle one of that. Yeah. That middle mm-hmm. square right there. I think is perfect. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Yeah. For sure. Mm-hmm. Can you get there? Actually, if he just stands, um, he can get there. If he just stands in between the torch and the one, square two, blocking, he's like on one, two, three, four. Like, he doesn't have to get there, he just has to occupy that square between the two blockings to make it blocking character blocking. Mm. Well, I guess, I don't know. I think if he just gets to that middle square, like, any square Cyclops can occupy is adjacent. So, yeah, man. Uh, uh, Sam is not still here in the booth. She go back to uh, support her husband. Was he, uh... <laughs> no, like, what's funny with Sam, mm. like, by support her husband, it's be in the other room because she gets too stressed out. She does, oh, yeah, wow. Yeah, and that okay. stresses Dan out. Yeah. So, like, so she's, she's just, like, she'll be, like, calm. pulling her own hair yeah. out. Like, she'll be freaking out, so she just has to stay out of the room. All right. Well, I think that's, sometimes that's all you need to do, yep. you know? Give, yep. him, give him the space to do what he's got to do. Yeah, my wife stopped talking to me when I'm at events. All right, all right. Because, uh, Entirely. one time she came up to me at Nationals. Oh, got in the right spot. Yep, perfect spot. Excellent. Um... I was playing against George Masu, 
mm-hmm. and I, I rolled yellow with Faust mm-hmm. and needed like a five and rolled back to back crit misses with a prob because she was watching and she's like, I'm leaving. And then I'm all, I didn't miss another attack for this. Oh, game. wow. So all ever right. since then, she's like, don't call me, don't, just until you're yeah. done. Yeah. All right. So when I called her today, she's like, that's awfully early. Oh. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Shucks. So, yeah. Hey, um, me and Dan talked about this well, matchup a little bit. Yeah, okay. Uh, what Dan needs to do is probably get Lockjaw up there. Doesn't need to be with Star Fox. Like, I think if he brings up Star Fox and, like, just mispositions at all, sure. he can just lose. Yeah. But yeah. Lockjaw realistically isn't going to die fast enough. Yeah. Storm has no leadership. Right, yeah. So he, he can only do so he much. He can probably afford to lose four tokens. Yeah. And then you can pick phasing and get out. Yeah. And then you can that, just... That's a fine spot for Star Fox to phase two. I just don't think it helps, I guess. I mean, it saves a turn. Guess, so, what's the main objective for Tom here? Because uh, uh, Tom has to take the twenty point like, lead. Has to. Just has to take the twenty point lead. Get rid of Groot. Or seventeen point lead or whatever. Sure. Yeah. He has to make. He has to force Dan to come to him, mm-hmm. and then hope that I guess the dice fall in his favor. All right. That's what it's going to boil down to. Um, okay. Like I don't like they're both good players. Obviously, this is the finals. So. Right. Yeah. So yeah, we know that Dan can be the first ever back to back. First ever back to back World yeah. Cup Rock World we Cup. We also get the first double for Rock. Unless you count Scott. Two right. time. Yeah, Rock he won Cup champion. Yeah. Well, uh, he won and before it was called Rock Cup. He won the first two. Oh. Okay. All right. Like the Rock World event, uh, Dragon, Dragon Con one. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Word. But it wasn't X Mac. I don't think. But he won the first two. Yeah. He might. It might have been like first one. Two of the first three. Oh, wow. hmm. What do you do? How did uh, they get You separate? pick Perplex and roll to five, and Perplex out the start box to advance. Right, right. Why are they separate? I did block all shift. Uh, in the tokens, I think you just bump them away. Nobody's noticed it. Maybe we I don't know. don't mention, you know, like, yeah. hey, that positioning like, is a little bit off. Yeah. Yeah, he's pulling in. Tom is less than mm. I don't understand. Tom? Mm. Tom. Mm. I think that's what it's supposed to be, and he's okay. like that finger. Because it's right there. Tom. <laughs> Alright, I see, I see. Lockjaw uh, was adjacent to Nimrod, yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah, okay, yeah, so Come. they moved him back. Aaron, just because it's Dan doesn't mean he's playing uni. Oh, was it Jason T? <laughs> yeah, okay, I see. Uh, okay, so they just saw That's Star Fox, bro. Yeah, that's fine. Although, I suppose if Kale wins, it does prove my theory. Uh, <laughs> Alright. No, I, oh. I think you're. Penguin. That's the one penguin that generated in the water, correct? The, his consolation for losing that? Is that the Emperor Penguin? No, uh, I think the Emperor oh, Penguin there is, is right yeah. there. So, oh, so, oh, that's the actual penguin. Yeah, the Robo Penguin yeah. is like right below the the finals logo. Yep. Uh, the Emperor Penguin is three squares behind now adjacent to Haha Joker. Yeah. But yeah. Tom is like slow and steady, moving forward. He's, he's being very the, methodical. He's taking the avenue around the Star fights. Yeah. Um, he doesn't have if the Walking Wood dies, he can not get a line of fire on Groot. Not through only yeah. one square. Because, okay. like, the diagonal that you can get has to draw through two. Like, I don't if think that walking wood goes. Yeah, because Groot got moved. Okay. And that, that torch is oh, blocking. That's the blocking. Yeah. Oh, okay. And well, F3. Uh, or what? Year, or whatever. No, it's not F2. Two, three. J3. Oh, but then there's three. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yeah, so the, it's going to take yeah, a little more time. Dan has done a really excellent job of positioning behind yeah, the torch as okay. well as that corner. So that it's, like, yeah, there's really no way of finding an angle. Yeah. You know, I still don't like the name putting all the star fights down middle. Three, and then another corner. Look at look Yep. Dan knows his geometry so well. Yep. Murdered uh, Walking Wood. And oh, there's yeah. there's no way Dan retails there. No way. Yeah, no way. That's okay. One Walking Wood down, no big deal. Yeah, I mean, it's something. Like, I mean, that's the threat, right? I mean, the Walking Wood is well, the it's real a, threat. It's a it's Walking Wood. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Everything else can be put back. Agree. No, yeah. do you think that uh, just um, generating more penguins, more robo penguins, um, that he can just position, right? Uh, 
with within these like right these paths that Dan's gonna have to take the star fights. Yes. So that at some point they're gonna they're gonna be in the radius so that they can just pulse wave. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just like get to like here and then just phase to right there and start poisoning. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's what I was telling. That's what I told Dan when I lost to Tom. That's what I should have done: is get Mothman and just poison every turn. Yeah. And just, I mean, and then like, because you're since you're on poison, like, uh, if when you're while you're doing the poisoning, um, if they hit you for like and just burn four tokens in a turn, pick phasing and get out. Mm-hmm. Like. Well, that's so, so we weren't on that, well, you're just poisoning. Oh, so you're not yeah. Just don't do anything and else. Just and the uh, Star Quest is one carrying a man. No, right. just, you just pick. You just go. Yeah, you just yeah. go. I think you like double perplex movement and just move him in right now. Oh, never mind. It's right now. Cool. I think you still do it. I think you go jump on the super air. Yeah. yeah. Park between and just I think deal you need, with it. I think you need one more turn before you do it. Yeah. Because well, he's, he's like 14 or so what if, what if Lockjaw, uh, Lockjaw chooses phasing? Uh, rolls, right? A six, and yeah, well, then you have to wait a turn. That's he's gotta, he's gotta hang back. Yeah, just wait yeah. Turn. Okay. Like you know, this is gonna be slow. Dan, Dan's just not. Yeah, Dan's just not gonna do that. He's not gonna put him in a position where any cap could. Yeah, there's no some surprise in cap. Right. I don't. Uh, does Tom have Harley ID? Batgirl can. Yeah. No. Batgirl. Does he? Yeah, have the minus three. Oh uh, yeah. 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 Exactly. So yeah, he just if he yeah, was well. Mm-hmm. No points have been scored yet in the finals match. And she also gets to a cap on her dial at some point. It's on the card. It's the third click three. Yeah. She goes for any card and cap on the card. I the card was lying. Her yeah. card was lying. Well, I wouldn't be surprised anymore with Luke Kid quality control. Uh, I don't see that scary. I think the best I mean, one the is color thing is Super like, Iron Fist that he had like three arms for a. Yeah. Yeah. On his crack, yep. Yeah. He had three arms, and you know, well, it's a six on iron six on right? and, and then, then there were three like more arms that was attached coming out of his torso. Yeah, <laughs> I want that one. Whoever has that, yeah, I want. I gotta really, get it back. I gotta get it back. That has to be mine. <laughs> I mean, I might if when I open my cases and I get home, I might just break off. Um, <laughs> if I get an extra one, just break them off. Just glue, glue like on. fifty Sorry. arms for the one iron fist. Like it's just a pile of arms. <laughs> so it's like it's basically the hackatakers. Yeah. Hundred, hundred arms. <laughs> Legs. I'll just break off all the arms from every Spider Island piece that I open and oh, put them all on man. one thing. Oh. All, on my, all on a Starro. It's <laughs> just about the same. <laughs> it's actually his arms thrown out. It's like the Cronenberg universe. Yeah, Starro yeah, Star does need Shuma tentacles. And uh, Carnage tentacles. Yeah. We, do, we need to make a Cronenberg set. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Alright, so uh, looks like very a whole lot of nothing. Yeah. Very, very methodically moving forward. This is the early... Early phase, especially on this map where it's just you have yeah. limited lanes of approach, right? Um, and both of these players have like nobody can overextend here. This is just about serving Joker moving probably. forward. Yeah. Joker, I mean, and Joker is right, has moved forward quicker than almost any piece I think, as yep. far as a costed piece goes. But yeah, yeah, he's definitely the piece that just goes in. Like yeah. I was saying, how Lockdown needs to commit. Yeah. Just Joker needs Same to go the other thing, way. Right? It's super yeah. hard to kill well, pieces that you can is... get in and get damage down on. Yeah, if he can get Joker in, like, he's got what? Wolverine, Psych, Psych, or Professor uh, that he can call him? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, yeah like, he's got a lot of call-ins. Yeah, so he, so that, that could actually potentially kill Star Wars. Yeah, side. with enough. Yeah, and just keep Joker adjacent so he can't support. I'm not sure if Robo Penguin should... Maybe? Um, no, he just killed the Walking Wood, and then I think it's still Dan's turn after that. Mm-hmm. Oh, actually, one thing we should be probably looking for is once those star fights get up, you probably get to a point where you can retail after they get killed and then just move away with the group around the wall and not have to get hit and just make more walking woods. Yeah. And so basically, you get to get you over the long run, get to convert star fights into walking woods. Like, but I think Dan is cautious enough that he doesn't risk the critness. Right. I mean, to be fair, you're watching. No, I know. So. Uh, then it just moved that turn. Like, it definitely went up there. Yeah. Like, it didn't sidestep. Is it, it's the running chopping one, I'm pretty sure? Uh, no, this is the uh, pulse wave. Okay. Yeah. It's pulse wave his own dude, own dudes. Uh, let me quick peek underneath that. Oh, yeah, okay, so... Um, yeah, the Pulse Wave also KO'd the Emperor Penguin. 
Oh, okay. Oh, that's what happened. He falsely yeah. killed his own little penguin and yeah. the... And the walking wood. I think zero zero is a robot tonight, but not. I don't know. I think it's a robot. Uh, zero zero. Is it a robot that's zero zero? Yeah. Um, it's pointed ties that are uh, like a click off of them. Okay. That's why they almost had a really interesting situation in Dan and Lane's game right. where it was going to be a click off, but they were all on the same click. All, all on the same click, so it, so it would have been a robot. Yeah. Wow. And But instead, Lane went for the win by using an ID. And this and just worth it. All he had to do was hit that attack against Star. He had to hit like three attacks. It was really a low chance. And then, wow! And then I pointed out to him a, a different way to win it. Yeah, way higher. And was it? All he needed to do was ding anything for one. Yeah, if he did one damage that turn, he would have won because he had the last round. Oh, right. Yep. He would have actually. Won. That's an interesting question we should probably ask about handling the the click off. I don't know if it should be like true unavoidable damage. I think for like figures like Bondra, it should probably go. Because, like, say he's having one counter, but click one. Should it take six for one to kill him? They, like, they treat click offs uh, as unavoidable sure. damage. I know that's how we come up to do it. Right. I'm not sure what that's like. I mean, isn't it six either way? It depends on how many tokens he has left, right? Because his click number isn't the same as the number of tokens. No, I know. Right? I'm aware. But so they were both at six. Like, like in that game, it wouldn't matter. Okay. They were both at six. Okay. Yeah, and yeah, on yeah. click one with their dogs. Nope. I feel like maybe you just remove those those figures from the map, right? You just sort of disregard them unless it, unless everything else is even, and then you're like, okay, how many tokens? Okay, but same number of tokens. And then yeah. you could go sort of a similar, that similar, it, well, yeah, a similar that random points. determination of like, what was your lock draw on versus what was my lock draw on? Or you just disregard them entirely, it sort of like helps yeah. mitigate Now, like, problem. Joker during a click down, if he crosses the line, you score 10 points. It's game. Yeah. So um, that, that is still applied because you don't, why, you don't ignore that. Tom broke a uh, wall. Broke a wall. Made a call in. Batgirl. No, I don't under oh. what is right there. Let me go take a look. What is that figure? He just crit missed or something. Uh, crit missed a loyalty token. Oh loyalty. my! That's the fourth time he's done that today. Yeah, he's crit missed on his loyalty token uh, attacks. So, I don't know how many times. It's four. Yeah, yeah. It's four two times. Against, two against me, one against Batman. Really? Yeah. Wow. On camera. So Wait, was it back girl? Girl? No, it wasn't back girl this time, so that's that's different at least. <laughs> uh, was that a miss again? Yeah. He's missed so many He times. misses more loyalty yeah. attacks than he does with the actual attacks. But then he hits yeah, his attacks, right? Right, right. Then, so he's then, wasting he misses three, three eights in a row to KO Thanos. He just, he's four. Four. This four. Is, this is four. Four. Because he had to roll an eight to pop unit. Right. Right. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, he had to roll that the eight to pop unit line. I think that was like the defining moment of his time to carry it. Oh, yeah. Just like... Oh, yeah. Uh, I can't believe I did it. Thanks, Big one for the team. Yeah. Everybody. Everybody here. Because yeah, if, if it turns out that I just win that, then it's a boring game. You know? <laughs> a little bit, you know? Like, yeah. if, I, if I don't lose, it's not exciting. Oh, yeah. It'd be you and Matt in the mirror. Well, actually, no. It's not true. I guess if he gets it, but then doesn't get the Thanos, it still looks like Oh, I there was a tank. Was tank. There was a successful tank throw. <laughs> oh, he's going to. Oh, he's. How the Does hell? he have a line? Is that a Cyclops? Mind control or place? He yeah, it's Professor X. I can Professor I can see yeah, the silhouette yeah. now. Yeah, mind control through walls. Hey Mike. No, that's good. That's going. It puts Star Fox Star out. Fox? Like, I think that's something you save until you can arrow. Oh, he can arrow him. Oh. I mean, because he'll have the action from the leadership if he hasn't used any other actions. That girl can shoot the wall out and have a direct diagonal with arrow. It arrow ignores characters, yeah. right? I'm not crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He arrow might kill right here. It comes down to a freaking super senses. Hulk, Tom is a... Dude, Tom's a genius. Yeah. He's, oh, he's, man. He's crushing this game. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Aaron, oh, he definitely shoots a Star Fox. Yeah. yeah, like he has the line Boom. to kill Star Fox. Oh, man. Here this comes. is... And he has Batgirl prob? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's the direct angle. Free attack. This is dangerous. Free attack to move the thing. You get a Pokemon attack. Don't crit miss. That's not it, another one. Uh, that's a seven, so maybe. it moved. Yep. Yeah, no, this is. Oh my that's gosh. It? Yeah, like he, he doesn't even have really to go damage. He can just go. One, just two, go three, attack. four, five, six. Mm -hmm. Boom. Yeah, he just goes 15 attack with a prop. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't worry. He'll, he'll just crit, crit him. Dan's rolled, Dan has rolled an absurd amount of super senses in Star Fox today. 
two consecutive top eight or top sixteen and top eight, he rolled a six on census to not lose. It's gonna be a great hit. Yeah. Isn't that what he just did to Matt? Yeah. Oh man. That's a hit. That's a hit. Oh, Dan senses. What was it? Dead. For three. Oh. Yeah, it kills him. Oh, oh man. Wow. That's dude. huge. That's... I mean, it's by no means over. Right. By no but means. That's a, I mean, that's, that's a tempo. huge, huge yeah. tempo. Yeah. It takes away. Like, uh, uh, it's the points aren't even what's important. Yeah. So we agree we shouldn't be watching out for this yeah, like that's what I'm saying. Like, Star Fox stays home, Lockdown comes out, but he, he got punished for it. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. uh, like as if I was in Dan's shoes, I am completely okay with being outplayed in those things. Like, if somebody sees something that you don't see, congratulations. Yeah. You deserve the win more than I do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, you know, like, but if it's just like, man, right. I hit like seven super senses in a row. Right. I don't feel good about yeah, that. Yeah, because it's super senses. You know, but like that, te- like, that technical that's perfect. Play, that level of technical play, yeah, seeing that. He can get the Professor X call in, right? And do the replacement effect with the tank. Yep. Get Star and Fox into a direct line of Like, it was yeah. literally everything had to work that way. Yep. That sequence of play. Yeah. No, it's great. Uh, and then he just free moves his back roll. Exquisite, dude. Yeah. Exquisite. Flawless turn. Top for Protus. <laughs> Top for what? Top for Protus. <laughs> oh, yeah, Aaron. Aaron, I completely agree. The game's not over. But, like, that's really big. Yeah, no. I don't know. I feel like just the basic print still works. Yeah, it does. Like it, that's what I'm saying. It's not over. But right. that right. makes Dan have what, to play a lot different. Like what? No, I don't. I don't actually think it does. You just still move lockdown over the plate. Like it just work. It still just well, works. Like, and the still actually, wait, same plan. That's eighty. Realistically, it's a hundred. Like if Dan kills tank, plus not, oh, and plus both penguins. Yeah. So that's the lead. Yeah. yeah. Like it's well, and actually, and Green Arrow can be killed if it just poisons. Yeah, but, like, he's also a lot deeper. I think he's also not going to win because that's enough points to win. I mean, if you're already adjacent to him, assuming he's in the area, like, it's one number. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, I know. If you can catch him in it, great. But I think the square you want to be in is, like, back roll people. Because, yeah, yeah, yeah. also, I know that Dan knows this. You can free you attack his penguin to take uh-huh. the loyalty. Mode. It's not friendly. Yeah, any character. Can. Any character can free attack that loyalty. Mode. So he can move the loyalty marker. Nice. Yeah, but then he gets pulled from attack in response. Yeah, he gets pulled from attack. I mean, you can do it back. He can take yeah, it back, but it makes him do it. Right. right. You know, make him make him go through the motion. Mm-hmm. But the only thing is, if like time starts to get low, Dan can't afford to waste the time. Man. So I'm still blown away by how actually that play was. Given, it was given so the, good. That was amazing. Yeah. Given the points, I actually I think, think if you get the watch out there and you start, oh, I guess you can never retaliate. Lockdown, you can't. No, you can't retaliate when Lockdown gets damaged. Unless he takes an unavoidable for oh, actually, some he should, of their effects. He should actually probably retaliate this turn. Okay. You can't. Why not? Because the little tank is what dealt the damage and then it replaced. Groot? What? No, I think he killed him. Do no. you replace in the square? Right, 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 but with... Daniel is currently considering his options on retaliating Groot this turn. Yeah, there's yeah. nothing to retaliate. Yes, there is. No, Dan knows that. Because the square you occupy with the big tank. Is no, what moves green arrow. arrow. It's what it has killed the stomach box. Oh, yeah, yeah. arrow. Guys, I forgot about on. the arrow. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, no, no. But the, Here it comes. The reason you can't retaliate the tank is all of the effect, oh, including yeah. the placement and damage, is all on the little tank card. If you show me a big tank card, I will show you where, where it doesn't uh, do any damage. Uh, yep, you definitely can probably with there. Oh, yeah, it's like you can't do anything with one token anyway. At the table. The table prof. That is the hit. Three damage yep. to Green Arrow. Yep, pop out a walking wood, try to pull your tree down. Yeah. Oh, no, he gets it. He's parrying out points, right? Yeah. Well, then he, he's handing 20 points right there. Yeah, yeah. But, but then that's not there's also 50 points on the table. Oh, tank. and the 50 point tank, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, if he can score it here. What? Uh, I don't know what Arrow has on those clicks. Did he take three? Yeah, Super Senses. Three flexes, three flexes, three flexes, Super Senses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And, like, I don't even know what his damage power is there. Anything relevant? Out what? He gets out what? Two bucks. Oh man, that guy. Does he still have side step? Oh, that's traded. That's traded. I think he's right shot. Hits. Since that's a dead arrow. That's a dead arrow. Good return. Good return. Yeah. And this, you know, side step up. Yeah. Yep, side step up. I think he's still going to lock up. Just off the pressure. 
Yeah, like there's no reason not to. Well, because maybe you want to sit back and kill a tank. Well, that was, I think it was just oh. a sort of I mean, you can just like pick X-Pro with a lot of dogs to kill a tank. Just I don't think it's worth the tempo. I think we right. actually just move the star over and start flying over it. Right. Over. right. I mean, this is like an like equivalently effective uh, response, right? 80 to 80, right? As far as right? Uh, it's like 100 to 80 is the group. Right. Uh, well, but it's also right, yeah. like, so 100 to 130, right? But the whole point is that that retaliation if feels, everything it, feels so much less significant. Yeah. Because it's just to retaliate, just move up, you know? Like, yeah. Tom, it wasn't like, a good play. It was just an excellent sequence of actions, right? Yeah. And that turn. And just Groot, 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 like the perfect and then turn, like, and then Groot just I, the I played a 24 figure with a special comp. And then you can, like, alright, me. You know? It just yep. feels different, you know? But yeah, it's, because I mean, retaliation should be different. It's, 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 as far as the game is concerned, and why yeah, the play moves forward, is, it's equally important, you know? Yeah, as far as the game is concerned, retaliation should not exist. At least not. This is a pretty good example of that. At least not. Yeah. This is the perfect example why it shouldn't exist. Yeah, Tom just outplayed him. Right. And then and didn't get rewarded for it. Yeah, Dan doesn't get punished. Right, because, right. Because, because there's no position necessary for it. Right. And it's just, you do it, it and then hope you get lucky. Yeah. yeah. Like, you needed to roll... I mean, he didn't... Oh, yeah, he actually had to roll pretty big. No, he rolled eight. Uh, the yeah, uh, the rerolls were against due to, Rob. like, Cocktail sitting on tokens. It wouldn't have been against Rob. Rob she, was, she wasn't there. She was, she she was back there. It's really... I mean, he had the... I mean, he had a the thing problem. Oh, with right. Arrow. Like, that's what I'm saying. He had to roll eight. Yeah. yeah. And then... Oh, yeah. He and then so hard. Yeah. And, but then, and then 40 it. against <laughs> And then 40 and hit against <laughs> I, don't I don't think people get to talk to me about how hard he is. Yeah, no. <laughs> you mean 8-8-8? 8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8
Yeah, it's, 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 it's so, okay. so, so now tank. he has a lead. So now the, t- the plan with the tank is you just punch it naked, and then if it hits, take Actually, you away. probably just take, like, CCE, and just go one and one and kill it. Yeah. Just try to roll a six. Like, you have infinite amount of time for Lockdown. I guess you have, to, you, you, have to, you have to make an attack line. So, yeah. yeah. Well. You just go CCE and take the plus one and hope to roll a two. Like, is that is that more consistent with you just rolling any for the hundred house? I still wouldn't even use it. I wouldn't even take the gamble when Lockjaw's just capable enough to use that. Uh, you know, like there's a, it's a non-issue. Well, no, but based on based on where everything is, because the tank destroyed the, destroyed the blocking, I don't know if it's possible. It might be possible for him to like use Gene, or not Gene, but to to get Batgirl in there to encamp and get end up rolling a six for Lockjaw. So like, man, how great would that be if that's how it ended? Is that with like Lockjaw insta dying to a Batgirl in cap? Wonderful. Uh, like, honestly, I love like Dan, end. but man, if a game's gonna end, that's the way that I would want it to end. Absolutely. Uh, that's close, Aaron. But you, I don't think you have IDs counted in that. I mean, yeah, IDs ones are there. Very close to you. I think he's just gonna. What are you gonna do? Did he call him? He called Chamber. in Cyclops. Oh, Chamber. Oh, Chamber's fine. No, Chamber. there, we don't. It doesn't play Chamber. Oh, you don't play Chamber. No. Uh, Chamber would be really good there. Is he just going to shoot the tank? I think he's going to punch it for free. Like, a lockjaw probably fits prob, right? Oh. Yeah, he rolls a 6 to kill it. I just don't agree. Yeah. Is that tank? Mm-hmm. What did lockjaw roll? 3. Okay. That's super safe. Yeah. Oh, and I guess doing it that way lets you see the level first. You take the prob and you just the Yeah, you can see a chance, yeah. That seems good. Yeah, Dan's got a good lead now. Good yeah. comfortable lead and no arrow to worry about. Yeah. I don't know if that group will do it. Just doesn't seem possible. He's already used what? Cyclops and Professor X. Professor X. Yeah. So he's got he's another got Cyclops. Another Cyclops there. Yeah, he's got another Cyclops. I think he's Gene? got an Ice Man. Gene. 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 Uh, I think no, it's Wolverine. Gene. It's Wolverine. Yeah, Wolverine. And Gene. So shoot, man. It's a non. If he gets some favorable things to happen. Yeah. I don't know. I think it. I mean, if I think Dan just retreats on I just think it's basically over. Yeah, no, like Dan should just go full retreat here, and I, I don't see why he would. Full retreat, yeah. yeah. Just dip out. Just phase away. He yeah. phases away with Lockdown, and he's out, and he offers up zero point, probably his interruption. Mm-hmm. Yep. <sighs> and he's still got a walking move. On top one. Yeah. yeah. And, but I think it just stays right there the entire time. Yeah. Oh, is that long shot there, there that, that walking wood? Like yeah. I think it's fine. I mean, I don't think it actually matters, but... Of course, I, I, I think you can actually always beat in the intersection. You actually make it the intersection, the intersection map. You can see the fucking map. It's like, just like forcing the throw there. Yeah. yeah. No, that's fair. Because basically, any time you can make a waste in a walking wood, it's time to just play. Yeah, he's got mind controls now. Yep. On the circle? He's KO in the Star Fight to make a close mind control action against the Because it has like, ESG, so uh, it can yeah. make a close instead of a range. Mm-hmm. I know the ruling exactly word for word. Okay, they, they're good. They agree with you. So you just lose mind control no oh. matter how. Right. So who's in my control? The uh, penguin. The penguin. Is yeah. the psychic class one? I have no idea. It doesn't matter. Well, we the ESD is not the psychic class one. I mean, realistically, if he's only targeting one thing, it just doesn't matter. He probably, if it if it's not the side blast one, he probably just wanted to do it as close as yeah. it's I know damn well enough that he just wants to do that at least once. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> oh, he hasn't done it. a punch pack though. This is, this is zero cost, basically. He could have crit missed with some didn't have a Yeah, there's no. Yep. He's gonna break that surfboard. He's got the surfboard. No, he's picked it up. No, yeah, he's attacking with it right now. Yeah, with the oh, start. Yeah. And that's a point. Yeah. Yeah, it scores a point. Yeah. Well, hey, one point, one point. It's efficient. Yeah. And yeah, oh, I've seen how much one point. Yeah. Matter. Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, on Adam, great, ripping on Adam constantly. It feels good. So, yeah, it's great. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's, it's good. It's it, good. I don't know if you know this. It's an official international hobby. Yeah. yeah. All right. Tight, man. Yeah, we can do it. Yeah. yeah, they, they got a full holiday for <gasps> I gotta go to England. Yeah, right. yeah it's, it's, it's a real Adam. <laughs> it's on July 6th, my birthday. July 6th, perfect. 
Oh, yeah. this is pod racing. <laughs> Jesus. This is a good game. This is a great game. I'm going to be honest. It's a better game than what I thought it was going to be on this map. Mm-hmm. It, it, like, it started out really boring, and then it and then happened. That, yep. Like, and then it all came at once. Now things are really happening. But this is... Ah, it, like, Tom's now behind on points. Oh, he's... Star Fox is going to... Or Lockjaw's likely to retreat, and yeah. you now... I mean, Tom's got a lot of pressure on Tom him. has to just commit. Right. Like, realistically... Like, he has to go all the way in with everything. Like, and just accept the fact that if more stuff dies, it doesn't actually matter. Right. Right. Like. What was he just saying? I don't know, something that happened. What? What was that? Uh, something just about making the correct declaration of closer range mind control. Like eight, when you came to start, start with. You, you seem pretty clear about it. I think I just said you, you can't do close. Though. You can do close. You definitely can. I'm 100 percent sure. Yeah, cool. Because you can you can close at a distance with Star. Because and then the Star fight says you can make the attack regardless of what you're playing. And, and Giant Reach specifically says within range of my own player. Yeah. Because that's just how Giant Reach works. Because he has Giant Reach, he can make it as close. Uh-huh. Yeah, he's uh-huh. Within X and Line of Fire, okay. but then X is replaced. Okay. Because it's regard- regardless of... Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah. wild. We need a running... Next year we need a running... Yeah, that's no, actually... We're good. That's actually an extension of a really old Talos rule. That if you're mm-hmm. Giant Reaching, you could Giant Reach your other character. Because it's a range. He uses a range. Okay. Aaron, but he can use TK to do it. That's a 10-point liability, but likely not one that defines yeah. the game speed. Yeah, because he's on... He could actually just take Super Shooter, watch out, pick it up. And one, drop it. 130. No, he has to drop it as soon as he loses Super Shooter. X. That's how it works. That yeah, yeah. Cards. 100% how it works. Uh, Professor X ID card. He uses 5, so that's 135. And Cyclops uh, could be Also, Cyclops is 3, so let's say 138 uh, to Daniel. Uh, and Tom has 80. Uh, 100. 100. 100. Get the group as, so he's up 40 plus uh, 38 points. Uh, plus whatever that idea is. Uh, plus, yeah, Cyclops is a student. So, uh, three. So he's 30, 35 points. So yeah, 35 points. I mean, it's, Dan has to kill one of the two things without losing much in the pod. Or, uh, Tom. Without losing Lockjar or Sorrow. Those are the only pointed figures left yeah, on the test. Yeah. Or, or leaving an ID character on the board and getting mm-hmm. killed. That could be the thing. That could be the thing. I mean, I just think there's no reason to call. No, there's, there's, there's not. <laughs> I believe in Tom Kerr. Oh, okay. I thought I was talking too loud. Yeah, you did. I was just saying, like, no, no, no. Don't discount me. Don't discount me. I, I just don't see it. Yeah, no, probably. Probably not. Especially because, like, the yeah. way, yeah, Dan's methodical method, or methodical play, right? He's very conservative, right? Knowing that he's not going to gonna take an action um, that he isn't, uh, like, confident in. Not having any sort of counterattack come at him for it. Just, it's, I mean, if you really wanted to get the hammer out of there, you just take super strength and pick it up and drag it back. Yeah. And you drop it, you drop it from over there, you just do it again. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, Star, that's definitely yeah. what you do with Star. Move inside to hide in the corner. Because realistically, the penguins can put enough pressure on to eventually kill them. Yeah. Give it enough time. I don't even know if they're pissed about time. <laughs> no, they're probably not, but that's still something he has to be prepared for. Because when, you know, when you're in the game, your constant time is a lot different than what ours are right now. Yeah. Like, we know about how much time is left. They have a very rough ballpark. He is going to hit his head on that camera at some point. Because Dan's like eight feet tall. What do you guys think about a post game interview with both? Each? None? No, I'm, I, I wouldn't see why not. I guarantee, I guarantee you both of them would do it. Yeah. But I wouldn't see why not. Sure. Uh, yeah, we can convince them. You know, it's been a long day. It's been a long slog all the way to this point. I think at best. this point, if Tom wins it, I would be impressed. Super impressed. I would be very impressed. Like, I think it's just very hard to do. Right. right. Just don't see it out. Like, I don't think getting Joker in there to call the IDs to try and take a star is enough. There is, there is an available line of play. There is. It's like... Point it's very zero, low probability. Zero one percent. I'm not even sure it's there, because the problem is the stars can just climb up there and prevent Joker from getting back. They're using a tray. And... I 
thinking, is that a crit hit? <laughs> on, a, on a pog? On a pog, yeah. He says he's murdered. super KO'd. Yeah. He's just hella dead. Crit yeah. hit, single target, pulse wave on walking wood, get wrecked. Yeah. I so we're gonna launch out with double poison. There's no double poison. He doesn't know poison. Well, uh, a Joker has Joker it sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, that's not. You can't even rely on it. No, no, because you roll randomly off of it. Yeah. And you can't even get to it from the top. Sounds like heck of a call. He's oh, yeah. Mean, like, he's working through and, right, figuring out. He's. He's, 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 I mean, he's got to be processing the line of play that's going to get him, give him the best chance, which is highly improbable, right, at this point, but it does exist. Like, it, it's not like a, there is no out to this game. It exists. Um, it's just going to take a lot of things I'm actually going, going so, sort of, like, very correctly in order for that to happen. Uh, now, like, and, and it, really what it comes down to is, like, right now, right now, is... Like the most important time for him to be um, doing the best processing and making the most correct actions, because um, that's going to compound forward. If he makes a mistake now, that's also going to compound forward. And it's only going to take him further away from actually being able to get the win. Yep. Yeah. And Tom, I think, is uh, very capable of finding that line of play. Um, he, I mean, he's shown time and time again, you know, uh, that he can find it. Um, maybe it was more readily available prior to this game, right? But we'll see. <laughs> it's match. No, he said it's bad for Oh, it's because uh, <laughs> they're all of them. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Star okay. <laughs> I think he's rolled a one on every turn. Yeah, with Joker, it's great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. seems good. Just go back different. and forth. Yeah. I mean, like. Literally, he doesn't roll onto the other one. Video feed's fine. We are not showing any drop frames, man. Yeah, it sure is. It is not moving whatsoever. Oh, there. Nope, they were just sitting still. <laughs> yeah, Brad, it's just your crappy internet. <laughs> Sorry, bro. <laughs> He thinks the video's lagging out. It's just they're being really still. Yeah. <laughs> like it's yeah. like Drax. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because he's not moving, then he's invisible. <laughs> you can't see me. <laughs> Draxina. Draxina. Oh. Actually, I don't know what that one was. Oh, the breakaway. breakaway. Oh no. In retrospect, they probably should have had John Cena play Drax. He's gonna murder a star fight. Punching the star oh, fight. Slow yeah. and steady. Getting there. He is not going anywhere at all. <laughs> I'm curious why Dan chose that square for lock shot. Yeah. Hmm. Well, uh, uh, I think it's Dan wanted to play on this one. Yeah. So many explanations. Is Starfire's going to be able to Jason or no? Oh, Jason. Oh, yeah, no, it's Jason. It's Jenna, right? Uh, Dr. T, the point totals are roughly 138 to 103 right now. Ish. Ish, uh, with Daniel Powell in the lead. Yeah. I found a guy more accessible. So, game breaking. Yeah, this map is uh, very difficult to uh, yeah. navigate. Maybe? But I mean, Tom just showed it's uh yeah pretty. Yeah. It's not as bad, it's, right? Yeah, it's not as, as long difficult. as you have the tools. Yep. I mean, I think that actually just shows that like that's what you have to do in order to even have a shot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> also fair. Like, 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 also true. Like, often not enough. The perfect sequence of play in that turn. Right. And like, if anything goes wrong, it just falls apart. Exactly. You know, just because you can build a meticulous mousetrap doesn't mean it's yeah, yeah just gonna like, crumble. Right. crumble. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think everybody was pretty aware. Like, I mean, we saw the, even the, the feed blow up when yeah. Tom lost an app. It was just like, well. Oh, man. Yeah. I mean, it was only a plus one difference. Right, right but that it's way more important for Tom to win a map than oh, it is. Yeah. Well, I think that's true. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, map too. Yeah. Like, if we oh, man. If Tom had won a map, this would be a completely different game. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, Tom's in a significant advantage. Yeah. 
compared to a lot of other teams. Yeah. Like some teams are, are doing well. They've both rolled, really? they've both oh my God. rolled out of the dice box. Last round. So That's um, the ball I, game. Really? Already? Like, seriously? Yeah, yeah wow. that went quick, but... That went Seems That's like it. it. Well, I'm going to go out there and congratulate my good friend. Yeah. That'll be the game, guys. Hold on. This will be turn on. Because Dan's turn, right? Well, Dan's turn and then yeah, Tom's. But... So Dan is doing uh, his utmost, yeah. Yep. Tom is, Tom is absolutely legendary on today's run. He has done. He has made more um, precise plays. Um, I, I've shoot this whole tournament long. I've seen more precise precise plays than I've seen it any other time. I've been to three worlds, WizKids worlds, uh, or or and or nationals, WizKids open time and again, super qualifiers. <laughs> Daniel Powell is your two-time defending Rock Cup champion. Give it up for Daniel Powell, everybody. Oh, my God.